Okay guys, we are out here with the Arkin EP5, the Helos PTR Gen 2, and our surprise visitor today is the Element Titan. That is an $800 scope. We're going to be looking through it as well. Um, I will be looking through it, giving you guys information. We will do a video viewing through the scopes later on, but today we're just going to concentrate on color and contrast. This is the sticker we're going to be looking at downrange. I like using this sticker because of all the colors on it. It gives me an idea of contrast between the scopes, how good or not good the coatings are. Okay, As you can tell, it is evening time. Um, the sun is going down, and this is a really, really good way to compare scopes when we're losing light here. So stand by. All right, guys. Um, down there at 100 yard mark, like I stated in the, previously, we have a sticker. I'm going to look through this. Arkin, I have everything set up for my eye. I can read long range shooting easily and Missouri through this scope. The colors are very vivid and bright. I see the blues, no problem. I see that rust brown, um, no issue. And I see the color difference between the gun and the tan in the wording there. So. That's, that's very impressive. I don't know what they did differently from the EP4 to the EP5. But this is an improvement. Um, a very nice improvement. So let's move over to the Helos. I'm going to tell you guys, I, uh, I prefer the Arkin in this test. Nothing against the Helos, it's just not as uh, clear as the Arkin in this test. Um, I'm also going to go with the reticle in the Arkin. I prefer the reticle in the Arkin over the EP, I'm sorry, over the Helos um, due to the thickness of the reticle. I just like a thinner reticle. I really like how they've done the, uh, the thicker portions of the reticle in the EP5. That is very nice around that little cross. The floating dots, nice and small. I'm on the turrets. Now I like the locking turrets on the Helos, but the turret feel, I'm going to give that to the Arkin. Um, guys, I, I am really, really liking this Arkin. Now I just got these in today. Um, this is the 22nd of January. This is a Saturday. I'll be releasing this video later on tonight, and you guys will see it firsthand. I mean, it'll be the same day release. I'm going to pull the uh, Element Titan up here. Um, this is a 5 to 25 scope. This is an $800 scope. So the Titan and the Athlon are very close class-wise. Um, if I was rating these scopes, it'd be just like this, first, second, and third. Um, there are some options on this Arkin that I like over the Helos. Um, I, I don't see what's not to like about this Arkin. Uh, the field of view is a little bit smaller than the field of view in these two scopes. Um, I, that's livable for me for the price. Now, I box. The eye box on these two are a little more forgiving than right here. The eye box is a little tight here. But it's not much. I mean, it's not a whole lot different, guys. I mean, I'm this guy right here is, is so far has been is in, is very very impressive. Very impressive. Um the next video we're gonna do some uh video through through the scopes, and I hope that it does it justice. Uh we'll try to uh get the best footage possible um through these guys. Now I just pulled this scope out here um, just because it was laying out and I thought, well heck, you know, bring it out and see what it what it how it compares to these. So again, this is you know five and a half, six hundred, eight hundred dollars. And right now, this scope right here, to me, and with my eyes, and these all these scopes are dialed in for me, this one has the clearest picture. I don't know what they did different with the EP5. If they did anything different other than the 56 AO, but I can tell you that it is an improvement. It is an improvement over the EP4. Um, 
we're gonna see how long it, uh, we're gonna take this exact scope right here. Um, we're gonna abuse it a little bit, see what it can take in some other videos. But for right now, this is what I've got. I've got the EP5, the Helos, and then the, uh, the Element Titan. Okay guys, 550, 600, 800 dollars. We're heading back into the shop for some final thoughts. Stand by. All right, guys, we are inside from outside. Um, that was quite an eye-opening experience for me with EP5. Um, like I said, outside, I'm not sure what they did differently with the EP5, but it is an improvement. Um, the Helos is still a great scope. I, I still speak highly of this scope. It's a, it's just a little thick. The reticle is just a little thick for me. That's that's about it. Um, in my opinion, the elements have a little bit of work to do to catch up with these guys, especially when it comes to price. I feel like this is going to be a great, great 22 scope, great long range scope. Now we didn't get past 100 yards with it. Um, that's where this scope shined over the SH4 Gen 2 was the 100 yard, a after the 100 yard mark. Uh, this scope seemed to be clear, it seemed to cut the uh, Mirage a bit better. Um, that's yet to be determined with this guy right here, okay? But in this test right here, the EP5 wins. Um, it wins in more than one category, okay? It wins in the glass department. It wins in the turret department. It wins in, in my opinion, just overall looks. I mean, that is a very, very nicely thought out scope. I like the numbers on it. I like that they're large and easy to read on the turrets and on the, uh, magnification ring it's just a well thought out scope not that this scope isn't well thought out this just has doesn't have the options that that the arkin has as far as the larger numbers um, the reticles a little bit better now on the eye box and stuff obviously i said i stated the eye box on these two were a little more generous where this one's a little tighter so if that's not a big deal to you, and it's not to me, it wasn't a big enough deal out there at all um, to sway my opinion on anything other than the eye box being the issue. I'm gonna run this, guys. I'm gonna run it on uh, one of my center fires and then swap it over and run it on 22. We're gonna abuse it a little bit, see what it'll take. We're gonna be doing some videoing through the scope in the next video, so be looking for that. And if you guys need a scope, I'm not the cheapest in town but I do hand inspect all my scopes. So all my scopes get hand inspected before they go out the door. And that's just one thing I offer to my customers that I don't think some of these bigger places that they simply don't offer. I, I quality check these, like this, these scopes here, if you used to buy an Arkin from me, I would have my hands on it. I'd run the dials, I'd run the magnification ring, and I would check and make sure that this thing functions how it's supposed to function before it goes out the door. That way it assures that you're not spending extra money and shipping back and forth whenever you do have to return a scope. Now, take that with a grain of salt. I have talked to a few guys that have had that issues, that issue with other companies um, shipping stuff back and forth and having to pay for sending stuff back and all the other stuff. As a vendor, I don't pay those shipping charges. Um, I get to ship that stuff back for free. So anyways, guys, again, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.